All right, so my friends, welcome. We're playing some Modern as I try and pick my deck for SCG New Jersey this weekend, SGCon Modern 20K. And I'm trying to deck someone 5 0 in leagues. Haven't played a lot of Modern lately, I'm just going to be totally honest. Uh, but this deck looked pretty sweet. This deck 5 0 in the hand of Mario, Mario Gomes 097. This is a, uh, a Hammer Time deck dipping into a little blue and a little green, making it bant, which is kind of cool. So, Hammer Time, of course, uh, nothing crazy here. Uh, Gloss Sammer, you get the idea. Sigarda Zade, Pierce of Paladin. Uh, we see the flex cards here being four Giver of Runes, the full four, two main deck Forge Tender, which is kind of gas, honestly. It's a way to protect against all the, the various red cards in the format. Uh, nice Charm Ragavan, so on and so forth. And uh, two copies of Haywire Might, a uh, new card from Brothers War. One mana, one one. When it dies, gain two. Pay a green and sacrifice it to exile a non-creature artifact or enchantment. So, can Urza Saga and lots of other various things. And then... Um, Three hundred Thopters, no Mem Knights, uh, definitely Ren and Six being a huge part of the format. One Reality Chip kind of cool. Cyborg's got some Orbars and some Blacksmith skills. You get the idea. Nothing too crazy here. Mostly just bonking. And uh, I do like Hammer Time. I played it in the Invitational a year or two ago. So um, let's just jam it and see how it goes. Brought to you by Colas Apparel. Colas Apparel shop. The best magic about. They're not even close. Spirit Dragon. Come on. Come on. Live long and prosper. Check it out. Colas Apparel. Uh, New shirt for me, actually. I have a new shirt, a uh, new Pile Driver shirt. Uh, the Pile Driver is a ska band. Hopefully, the slide will come up. They are random. Uh, but Pile Driver ska band, super awesome. Check that one out. The jerseys are available again, also, which is super great. So make sure you use promo code Jim5, 5% off your order on coolstuffinc.com and uh, check it out. Good stuff, super high quality, and then uh, just really fun designs, too. Also, just like super comfortable, too. I wear them all the time, on stream, off stream. Just great. So check it out, coolstuffinc.com. All right, Saga Flats, Sent this hand to keep. Turn one Sentinel keep, always keep. On the play too, always keep turn one Sentinel. Always keep turn one Sentinel. All right, so we are going to fetch, probably just the planes, honestly. The only blue card in our deck is the one reality chip, right? Yeah, so we're just gonna planes. Don't know what they're playing, so take a little bit less damage. We'll draw a fetch land some, at some point. Sentinel, try and draw a card, get our Saga going, we got our Hammers. The Hammers are over here, Kaz. No, there's nothing, there you go, yep, there, nope, nope, yes, nope, up, here, there, there, here, there, huh? Where are they? Play Bloodstained Mire, untap, and we draw a pure Seal Paladin. This four are looking pretty good already. Offensive Defenseman? I think it's a Defensive Defenseman. I'm calling 6'2", 190, the kind of guy you don't want to get in the corners with. Right, Cassian? You gonna play hockey for the uh, the Rangers, right? Here's Urza Saga. We gotta draw land here, unfortunately, but play Force Tender. We're gonna hold Hammer because we have Paladin, so. Place with the caps, I'll, I'll live with it. I'll live with it. Here's a fetch. I might cast the removal spell here on my Sentinel. I draw a card, which would be great. Craig, reset up, thanks so much. I'm sorry, uh, Tassel Reset, thanks so much. Steam Vents untapped. Oh, here it comes. Draw a card. Lightning Bolt, whatever. Draw planes too, sick. All right, now our hand's great. I'm in. I'm in, let's go. Next turn is Pure Step Out and Hammer Draw Card. What is this Ren 6? It's just a weird teamer decks. I don't, I don't get it. But it's teamer earlier too. It's just like some weird teamer like pile of cards. I don't get it, Cassian. Draw another saga. All right. So now the question is, do I want to start making Karn's Drux or just like play Pallet and play Hammer? I can just play Pallet and play Hammer this turn, and then we get another Hammer next turn, and we make might make it might make an artifact too. So I'll just go Paladin. Mouse Luck, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Can't just playing teamer. Like, what's the draw to teamer? Just like a pile of cards. It looks like. Um, we draw a springleaf drum. It's pretty cool. I'll attack Ren. I think we're gonna kill them with a with a huge bonk. Creativity. Uh, I guess this could be a creativity deck. We played against like a fair teamer deck earlier. That was like, you know, Ragavan, Tarmogoyf, like stuff. It's very strange. 
So, could be creativity here for sure. Not necessarily uh, a specific humor deck just yet. Sub to keep baby Davis and diapers. Diapers ain't cheap. Wow. No land? Oh, never mind. They tricked us, Cassian. They made us think that they were way behind and they're actually just fine. But we're in great shape here. We get to go next turn, make a construct, get a hammer, draw a card, play Saga, play draw or play another hammer. We're at, we have so many hammers. So many hammers. Alright, yeah, their creativity looks like. Play a fable here or just die. Oh my god, Karn, shut up. There's a murderer here, in case everyone's wondering. Sorry, folks. Jesus Christ. Isn't, isn't the noisy doggy a pain in the ass, Cassian? What do you think? Oh, no. There's Mari Command. Deal two and shatter. We're going to save our Paladin, obviously. Uh, but that sucks. They're still, they're still just dead, though, right? Now, now I need an art. So now the drum actually comes into play. We actually need the drum to kill them. Oh, it's okay, dude. We got it. We're, don't worry, man. We're good. We're good. All right, let's untap and we draw planes. Now we get to go make a token, get a hammer, play a land, play the drum, and then kill them. Right? That's just three artifacts. One, two, three. Yeah, we're good. So I guess we just like. Not even make a token, just play double hand. Whatever, there's freaking dead, it doesn't matter. So, float him out. Just literally, there's just, you know, 10 paths here, it all work just totally fine. So, well, it's okay, dude. Uh, play another hammer, draw a card, play Saga, play Sentinel, play drums, play everything. Play you, and you, and just show off a little bit. Play you, and then I'll play you too. And then I'll equip you. Oops, not for eight. Crit for zero. We get a good bonk, baby. Get a good bonk. And bonk. 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 Alright. So, um, let's see. Opponent's playing. Can I view the game? I can go back to the game. Look at the game. Teamer creativity for sure. So we're going to want, I can't cast spells, it's Orvars. Whoop. Casting his middle name is not Andor, no. Yes, I know. He's not named after the Star Wars character. It just sort of was an odd coincidence, but we wanted to name him that anyway. So in, in 10 years, no one's going to remember the Star Wars show. So skill counters creativity. Target permanent is Ains hexproof and instructable in a turn. Uh, that does not counter creativity, right? Because it, hexproof means they can target with their own stuff. Judge. Um, I haven't seen Andor yet. I've heard it's really good. Looking forward to watching it. But oh, indestructible. That makes sense, right? Uh, okay, skills interesting. It's also just getting us kill spells too. I would say that reality chip is out here. I would say that haywire might. Doesn't really do a ton here. Got the Haywire Mites. Uh, Shadow Spears and Weave Drum. Gift. Ornithopter. It's alright, man. We're good. We're like Banham. We're like Mono White's watching for green and blue. Um, put our skills in. Get rid of this. I'm going to mommy. Alright, everyone say bye to Cassian. Say bye. Bye bye. They're doing my killer. I don't know, like, doing some shoveling or something. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, Sword of Fire and Ice can probably go. They are blue-red, but, like, doesn't really seem particularly great against them. Cut that one out, and now we need to add... The explosive is also, like, fine against them. It's not great, though. Yeah, like Kenobi more? We didn't really love Kenobi. It was just, like... Very, very, like, bland, middle of the road. It was fine, but it wasn't really particularly great. 
Giver of Runes. I don't know. I could have got something here. We could have cut like, like a Thopter, maybe. The Thopters seem pretty sketchy without more drums. Just sort of like, whatever. Let's do this. Friend name is an Anakin. That's a little more aggro than Cassian is for sure. Yeah, anyway, we, we, Nicole just like of a voice has always always liked the name Cassian, and we're just like you know what? we like the name we're trying to name him that. Uh, it sounds great, right? We should have like turn one Sentinel, turn two Stoneforge. We have a four Tender, and then we have the Ovar if they have a uh, an Archon. So Sanctifier for what? All right, go get him, buddy. Always Sentinel first. Megatron. Should have named the kid Megatron. We screwed up. They have a they have a Ren here. God, I hate Ren. Should we draw a card still? Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, so whatever, Ren, draw a card. Draw Pure Step out, that's cool. And we get to go for Tender. I think I like for Tender land here. Another hammer too. Jeez. So you go for Tender land. And then next turn we can go Saga, Pure Steel, Colossus Hammer. That's pretty good. Just say go. Alright, so return the land, yada yada yada. And they're gonna play a Fable here too? They got they got they got it all? Good curve. Good curve. Alright, well, it's time to do our stuff. They have creativity next turn, I have the Ovar, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we go Saga. Sega. We go Paladin. We go Hammer Draw. And... Is Dinking Ren for one worth it? I don't think so. I don't think it's actually worth anything, so just say go. Just block this Goblin Shaman. McIntyre says, Some family in 1954. We really love the name Frodo, and that book was just a coincidence. In 10 years, no one will remember it. <laughs> Frodo Baggins. Discard Archon. Uh, if they had Persist here... Then our Ovar doesn't do much. We can, like, just cast it if we draw a blue, I guess, but... Oh, I'm no, sorry, yeah, it does. Never mind. I, right, we're good. Right, never mind. Same thing as creativity. Ovar's great. I'm wrong. I'm just making shit up. Here comes the goblin block here. Ovar's great all the time, hence why it's the all form. So they arc on us, we arc on them back, and then we just like unload hammers and shadow spears and kill them. Put the hammer on the forge boy, that could happen too. We'll, but we'll see what happens next turn, you know? Okay, they got to finish this turn first. We're just going to see what they're going to do. Hey, folks, first, remember that follow button watching YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Playing a little Magic Online today. What does this card actually do? I know clones when I discard, but... 3 of Changeling. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, if it targets one or more other permanents you control, make a token that's a copy of one of those permanents. That's fun. Pretty good blacksmith skill. And then, of course, if an opponent makes discard it, you put a, you create a token that's a copy of target permanence. We copy their archon. Remember, folks, check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com from last Friday. Uh, it was a, it was a good one. I, I definitely, uh, you know, I don't, I don't always, you know, toot my articles that much. Some are just, you know, just good, good articles. There. But this was a, uh, this is a pretty good one. I go over. How to get better at magic by starting at the ending. Uh, thinking about a game, how a game is going to end should be the single most important factor for your choices in a game, as well as in deck building and sideboard planning. Good theory piece. Check it out uh, on CoolStuffInc.com. Appreciate it if you do. Um, just appreciate it, honestly. They're going to go to the end step. 
and we're gonna untap and we're gonna draw. So they have some uh, some things up here and they're going to upkeep nature's claim targeting my Urza's saga. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's responsive trigger too. That's fine. All right, that sucks, but whatever. We still have just double artifact here. If they have a Prismari command, it's awkward, but we draw a land and we're in great shape. Or Saga, that works against good too. So you play Sentinel first and then play both, both artifacts. Love it. All right, let me go Saga. Let me go Hammer Time. So many hammers. And as it stands, they're, they're dead on board, right? We're not gonna fetch. And they call it a mine. Sure. Blue, red, red. So they got to kill Paladin, we pure steal. I'll say they have another removal spell. It's annoying, but whatever. They have it all, they have it all. I'm not going to do, you know, like. So they're going to Prismari command here. They're going to make a treasure and shatter. That's fine. Sure. And we draw off that. Play Shadow Spear. Draw off that. And we have three artifacts now, which is gas. So let's put the hammer on the Forge Tender. A little pro red action. And then the Shadow Spear will go on. This is going to be one short, actually. <laughs> I guess Shadow Spear goes on the Paladin, right? And then that's lethal. We have 11, 12, 13 with Trample. Sure. All right, and then uh, so I put, I put the Shadow Spear onto the Forge Tender. It's only 12. They should chump block this thing, so. Looks like lethal to me. One blue in the pool. Two blue in the pool. They're going to ice my Forge Tender. That's fine, honestly. So, if you need combat, ice. We attack with our Trampler. Uh, just tech them. And then we'll move the hammer over to the uh, Sentinel. Karn does love barking. And I guess, like, maybe there's some incentive to want to keep my Pure Steel Paladin alive. So I could, like, leave the hammer on the Paladin so they can't fire it or whatever. I do have the four tender, but they could like double up. Um, taxing for two is probably enough to draw a card either way. I mean, I have like Saga, Orvar, and a Stone Forge in my hand too. Yeah, let's keep this thing alive. Actually, let's put this here. So there you go. This deck's sweet, honestly. <laughs> Hammer Dive is a good deck. Flip Reflection, beginning combat, attack with the things. So looks like they're going to cast Creativity here, but I have the OVR, so I think we're good. Take two. What do we sack to create to the, uh, to the Archon? Another land, too? Wow. Can they create the Creativity for three here? Oh, boy. Three's a lot. All right, this is a little scary, actually. We draw skill. They have emissary in their deck too. You son of a bitch! All right. Uh, we sacrifice, I guess, four gender at this point. Oh, I mean, we get to like. Ovar, sack, attack, sack again. I don't think it's enough, actually. Discard, Ovar. Wait, what if I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I 
copy Sarah Emissary and choose creature. Oh, I can't target it because it's pro creatures. I can't target anything. Hold on. It's a creature. I can't target their stuff. Oh my god. Still a piece of garbage. Um. Shit. <laughs> so I can't target their creatures. They have pro creatures. I have to target, I guess, pure steel. I mean. Ovar, the source of Ovar is a a creature. So it cannot target pro things are pro creatures. So you cannot target Archon. I'm clicking it right now. It's a creature. This is a creature. They have an ability from a creature. Um I have to sacrifice one more thing. The thing is, I can't kill them because they have Sarah's emissary in play. I actually just can't win. Like, I just can't remove Sarah emissary. Um, yeah, I don't think we can actually win anymore. We have no way to remove Sarah emissary, right? Yeah, we're just dead. We, just can't, we actually just can't beat this guard. Wow. Wow, what a twist. I thought we were fine there. I thought we were going to beat multiple Archons, too. I, I'm clicking it. I can't target it. <laughs> it's not letting me target it. This is lit up because I it's the ability. We can see right now I can't target the stuff, so. Whoo boy. Um Yeah. Shit. <laughs> All the hammers in the world won't save me. Alright. Uh yeah. We can make a we can make a monstrously large creature, but it doesn't actually matter. So, pro creatures, yeah. All right, they got us. That's a that's a crazy one. All right, I thought we had that one too. That was looking pretty good. Uh, all right, game three. We don't actually have an answer to that card, which is pretty annoying. Uh, if we had like you know a vapor snag or whatever, it's like some random card, to exile it. Um. That wouldn't be a problem, but we don't. It's kind of crappy, but I guess that just is what it is, and we'll just play game three and do our best. What else are we going to do? Sure. Yikes. On the play. We've got... Uh, we have the Ovar, but our hand's terrible, so mulligan. And now we have Sigarda's Aid, Hammer, Giver... I gotta keep this, I guess. I keep this. We'll ship... Um, I guess blacksmith skill, honestly. Um, I want to keep spear, I think, because we have the. We put it, put it on giver also. Like I honestly, that'd be stoneforge to so try and like just try and get them with all of our one mana spells. Just go, like turn one giver, hope it lives, untap draw land, cigar eight hammer. Um. They have pro creatures. Like, they have pro creatures also, so I cannot damage them. This is weird. I'm going to discard this. All right. Uh, planes. Giver of Ruins. We need to land, folks. We need to land bad. All right. Land. Here we go. Come on, land. Um, shit, yeah, I'm just gonna attack for one by Cigar to Aid. We play the Aid, and like, if they kill my thing, I can just draw a land and play Giver and Hammer immediately, so. Not ideal. Scary spot, I'm not gonna lie. Here's Mesa. We really want to untap safely and draw land here. Steam vents. 
Ren? No. Black red? Fire, sure. All right. Please draw land. Please draw land. Yes. Bingo. All right. Play giver of runes. And now we put the hammer on it immediately. Or do we wait? Um, you know what? If they have Prismari Command, we're screwed. But uh, we could put Shadow Spear on it and play around two damage effects and then not expose this to a Prismari Command, like there's, there's a Shatter effect. Hmm. You want to have skill available also. I'm just saying, go. Skill protects hammer, but like only if we wait and like it's like do you play this first? I don't know. We'll see what they do. Hopefully they just like tap out fable. You know, like that would be ideal. Was creativity a deck before Arkham was released? Yeah, but the targets weren't as good. Play Fable! Yes! <laughs> Bingo! Alright. All right. I think they're dead now. I guess they could kill creativity, but. Um Let's actually cast Hammer, because we want, we want to just be able to draw land and kill them, hopefully. That's 11. This is 12. Pure Steel Paladin. Blacksmith gives plus 2, plus 2 if it's an artifact creature, which it's not, unfortunately. Um... They can creativity for one next turn. For two, actually. Ugh. If they have it, we're dead, I think. Give me the block. Riker Prime! Make sure we sub. Oh, they blocked. Oh, they blocked. Oh! They blocked. Sweet, thank you. Tramples and kills this. Um, and, uh, all right. All right, so they're at four. We say go. The problem is if they creativity for one, we're still pretty dead, but what am I going to do? We could have, like, I guess just let them block and then played pure steel. And then if they Archon, I sack the pure steel and attack and they have to block, but, like, not really that great. They just have creativity, like we're just dead. Yeah, I mean they'd be they would be at they'd be at like twelve right now. Alright, we have skill for creativity, duh. Come on, Jim. That's it. I'm going to clone college. Right. We're good, I'm sorry. Alright, well, whatever they have here, skill stops it for sure. Hopefully, probably, maybe, hopefully. So Oh my god, double skills. Double skills. Still only counts as one. Here we go. Here we go. The Seiju? You wow! Blacksmith skill. What else you got? You got more than that? You got more tricks? That's not going to land, too. Nice. It's a Herman Miller, yeah. Indestructible, hexproof. Oh, actually, it actually fizzles. Never mind. That's what I'm talking about. Game. Bonk. Glasses. Let's go. This hand is uh, very creaturey. Uh, we're gonna keep. It's some more mystic too. Trixie Hobbitses. Draw a Stumble Garden a lot. Man, two copies of Haywire Mites a lot. That's a lot of Haywire Mites. Okay, not, it has not been relevant yet. Um, let's get a Plains. Guess Giver of Runes. Obviously, Giver of Runes Fortune is a little redundant, but... Alright, so turn two Stoneforge with protection. Blued Crypt... Thought Seize is pretty rough here, but like, whatever, I guess. Just 
just nothing. All right, sure. Shock it, bop it, stone forge it. Bolt the runes, sure. Get a hammer. Say go. Like a draw land next turn. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize themselves? <laughs> Damn. That is gangster. All right. I mean, they have the persist, but. Their hand is Beseju, Proving Ground, Creativity, Persist, Dwarven Mine. So they can persist back their Archon next turn. I draw Sentinel. They're at 16. I mean, if we Cigar is a bonk here, if I just kill my Stoneforge, that's terrible for us. So we probably need to attack for one and play multiple creatures. And then we'll sack one of them to the Persist. They have besage you for our hammer too. This is kind of gross, actually. Um, so many creativity decks. All right. Um, guess we just play some creatures. We could just play the uh, the eight, I guess. Third sixteen. We'll discard the sword to the Archon, I guess. This is, uh, this is something. All right, play this. We're going to sack the Sentinel, I think. So, play Giver. Uh, Diet Zol, free stop. Thanks so much, appreciate it. So they got a 15. They persist back Archon. They drew a blood crypt. They still they still have a stage now. It sucks. So they persist. They pay him the taxes. No, they pay the tap line, right? Yeah, so we draw a sentinel. Persist resolves. Um we sacrifice. I guess the Stoneforge, right? It's like the worst creature we have, so sure. Sacrifice Stoneforge. Discarding Sword of Fire and Ice. Next turn, we aid hammer attack. I mean, they have creativity next turn, too. God, what an animal. We draw a hollow fountain. Um, that's a lot of Archon triggers, unfortunately. <laughs> like, a lot. Uh, yeah. I think we're like pretty dead. Now they're gonna block. All right, sure. So they're scared of double hammer, which they shouldn't be because I would just kill them with the giver of runes if I had that. So like it makes no sense. So we just uh, hammer, kill Archon, deal one, play another Sentinel, and now they get to Dwarven Mine creativity. But I draw two. And I think we're still in business. Alright. There's your dwarven mine. They're going to play Fable and go for a bigger creativity next turn. They're going to pay for one Sentinel. This allows enough creativity for a bunch next turn. But if I draw a Hammer or a way to find Hammer, I just kill them. That's cool. Huh! Nope, it's a drum. Alright, um... So they're going to create a for like a thousand next turn. Shit. All right. Let's just pro red attack for 11. Play, play my entire hand. Just, then just hope we don't lose, I guess. I 
we're going to empty our hand and we're going to be drawing uh, some cards off Sentinels too, which is kind of nice. So, All right, you're up, I guess. So next turn they can go discard some stuff. They have a Beseju also, so they can uh, just like kill my hammer. Discarding Primeval Titan and Bitter Reunion. Is there a Valakit deck also? Held drawn pitch to Archon. Why would I could just pitch whatever, right? Creativity for two. I draw two here. I draw Sentinel. I draw Arid Mesa. Um, double Archon. They're at. There's dead, right? On our one short! Pro Ride on Sentinels were one short. Oh my god, don't be don't do this like this. Alright, I'll sack a Sentinel and discard a land. And then we'll sack the Forge Tender. So you draw literally any equipment. Alright, here we go. Any equipment for the win. Tilt. Let's just put them to one. Oh, no. No. Well played by my opponent, honestly. It seemed like, a, like an obvious play to creativity on three, but like, they made, made much more, they, they played with much better of waiting. All right. So they're like Jund, Creativity, Persist, Archon, Titan. Yeah. All right. That sucks. That sucks. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Um, hmm. I mean, I obviously want. Orvar. Sanctifier is good against the Persist half of their deck. Reality Chip, Sword of Fire and Ice. Haywire Might has been nothing but disappointing. Um, I'm not surprised there's no freaking like blue card in the sideboard. Like, Even some spell pierce or something, you know. Blacksmith skill does stop creativity. That is that is coming in. And so I could have thopped her again. Alright, let's try this. And there are so many different flavors of creativity decks, it's actually insane. There's like 15 different creativity decks. On the play. Two lands, three lands. Uh, we can keep this. We have the Ovar, which is nice. Uh, Point of all against a six. They have turn one cigar as aid. So they cannot thought seize my aid, which is kind of cool. Turn one, Valakit. All right. Uh, okay, sure. Second, uh, Ovar. I'm gonna get a Hollowed Fountain in case we need to, like, cast these things. We have two of them now, so. Here's a Naked Pure Steel. Um, no! Obviously, kind of offering up Pure Steel here with no, uh, protection, but. Shock and Stamping Ground. And play Bitter Reunion. 
It's right in prime time. It's actually pretty kind of gas, honestly. That's pretty sweet. The Valak gives it a nice, uh, nice long game plan too, which is kind of kind of cool. Cool deck. They have like persist plus haste next turn too. That's like gross. Yeah, we just can't do anything. So all right, here's Pierce Steel Paladin. Attack for two. Yeah, they have persist plus haste. We're just dead, right? There's a mountain. Oh, thank God. All right, bitter reunion. Didn't have the nuts, thankfully. This one discards a swamp. And, I mean, now we any hammer kills them, obviously, so we would like that. Equipment? That's an equipment. I don't, I'm not mad about that. Um, We're going to draw two. Don't want to leave myself live to draw exactly untapped land hammer. Or should I just tap the Nexus? I just tap the Nexus. We draw exactly land hammer to uh to win. And drawing hammer is good anyway, so just tap this. Cash out of spear. And they have the bolt. Which is interesting. Um, do we protect here? If we, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we protect here, we can't um, we can't use it on their creativity for one next turn. We're drawing two anyway, and they didn't. Uh, it, it, oh, I'm sorry. It, it's also a response to the equip too. I, yeah, I, 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 with, the, with the with the equip going off as well, we want to protect this. So protect this. All right, so, right. I, I forgot about the uh, the shadow spear going off too. So, oh, I drew a hammer. There's dead. Uh, ten. Or one short again. Uh, this is gonna target this thing. Draw, draw. You aren't dead. It's only fifteen. Only. Game three. Uh, kind of a terrifying matchup, honestly, because, like, our Ovars are terrible against their Titans, obviously, so. Sword of Fire and I. Yeah, they're just going to let it ride, I guess. Like, I don't know if we can ever beat their good draws. Like, they just have, like, a turn three, you know, Titan with haste. Like, that's pretty insane. All right, so we're on the draw with Sentinel. We got to keep this. Put them all against six. We're going to keep. It's obviously a little risky, but we have, we have like, you know, we're rolled up pretty well here, so. You draw a land, which sounds very good at. So we draw cell number two. We'll get a planes, play sentinel, play ornithopter. So you go. Ren here is annoying, but we still draw a card, which is fine. So draw an ornithopter. We draw a land. All right, we definitely need to draw a land here. Land! No! No! Alright, um... I guess just Forge Gender. It just has, like, the natural protection rather than, rather than Giver of Runes, so... Alright. Say go. Stuck on one. Man. I feel like it's just a soft ban on one toughness creatures. It kind of sucks. Like... Plus Rem and no fetch. Oh my god, and no land. <laughs> oh, and we drew the land. All right, let's go. Bingo. All right, um, we're gonna attack. Just attack them. Attack them for one. Play Stoneforge Mystic. Get ourselves a, a good old hammer. Bonk. Now if Sigurd is aid plus hammer or pierce the paladin or lots of stuff, so we see a bitter reunion here. Discarding a spell, obviously, because they have all spells in their hand. An Archon. Scary. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Alright. Free reign this turn. 
Plus with no land either. No fetches for the Ren. Very sad for them. Very, very sad. Untap and draw. Pure Steel Paladin. Saga goes to two. The question is, are we just hammering now? Just the Guardians eight hammer attack for a bunch? I think so, honestly. We'll just do it. Hammer time! Gotta put on the Forge Tender. I think, right? Yeah. Alright, so attack them down to uh, five life points. Another hammer's coming next turn, so also, we also can get the Shadow Spear too for Trample, so. Say go! Uh, I mean, it's funny because it exiles all graveyards, and they have like literally a Ren and a uh, their persist deck also. But they also screwed up and got Dwarven Mine there. It doesn't do anything, which is kind of cool. But uh, okay, shit, um. Go get uh I guess spring leaf drum? Like I don't, I don't even know. We're like pretty screwed here, honestly. Um They have five cards in their hand. Oh no. Good sideboard cards are good. Alright. We drumming. I can't even cast anything because I freaking this with this Carlos that's floating, but I don't I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going, folks. I'm worried. I'm very worried. Alright. That was painful. That was an ouchie. Archon's gone, thankfully, but now they just fetch for a uh, mine and cast creativity, which is loose. Ren number two. Okay. If it's the best they could do, just Ren double kill on the Pure Steel Paladin. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Alright, I mean, hopefully their hands like persist, 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 and they exile their freaking Archon. Uh, I'm just gonna Paladin again, because our one type of creature just die. I guess we could just like play both Giver of Runes. We'll just do that, actually. I should have attacked first, whatever, but. Let's do this. Attack for one. They are at freaking four, and they're playing fetch lines and stuff, too, so. There's value in thinking them. I should attack first, but. They flip the consumes all next turn, but like. Down to two. Please don't have creativity. Go to one? Is this creativity for three? Oh, it, it's creativity for three. Oh, I can't even watch. Oh, I can't watch. I can't watch. No, there's no mine. Stomping ground taps. Creativity for two? Well, what? What happened? 
happened? What happened? What? 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 Wow. Wow. All right. I'm losing the die roll. Come on, share. Stop rolling around. Waka waka. All right. Match for Stinker Hand. A true stinker, Mulligan. What's up, Matt Packer? Um, Miss Hand's not good, but we're going to keep, so keep this, ship this. Obviously, a very awkward hand with our two non blue sources in our counter spell. Delta. So, be resub. Thanks so much. Yeah, just say go. I mean, if consider. Now I can cast counter spell at least, so. Delta will get a Watery Grave, not a Triome. Wow. Protos Hype Trade, let's go. Not a Triome. And they're going to play a turn two Ragavan. Sure. So, this feels spell piercy to me. Unless I drew exactly this uh, Ragavan with this turn. Can, oops, no. Consider. Removal spell, please. Odawara, no. Our own Ragavan. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is actually pretty good. So that at least allows us to defend our Ragavan a little bit. Oops. Go get him, buddy. All right. Some monkey on monkey violence here. Ragavan v Ragavan. Ours is definitely cooler than theirs is. Fatal push. Nope. Let's get... Um, I would say Hollowed Fountain. Yeah, like Prismatic Ending and Bolt. Yeah, that's fine. And Spell Pierce, yeah. What about they have a land in their hand, huh? Possible, maybe, conceivable. They have their own Spell Pierce. Another push. So Ragavan's world, folks. We're just living in it. Malakar Rebirth. So they're like a Grixis scam deck? That's awkward. Sure. <laughs> they're going to feign death. So uh, when this Ragavan dies, it comes back as a 3-2. They have won the Ragavan War. Um... We drop prismatic ending though. All right, let's well, ending this. We could have a very bounce it, but they could just dash it. So just play this, play ending, set up maybe counter spell, then to fairy next turn. Ragavans everywhere. Fable. Nah. Nah. All right, next play to fairy, and we get to. And a Ragavan, too. All right. We could dash Ragavan here, I guess, right? I don't hate that. He can play to Fairy, too. If we, uh, if they miss. If they hit a spell, great. Go get him, buddy. All right. And take the, uh, the damage. We hit a Bloodstained Mire. Tilt. All right. Just play, play, uh, play to Fairy here. It's Fairy and, I guess, probably plus... They have three cards in their hands, so. Bounce that Ragavan back and say go. Expressive Iteration. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good card. Malachar Rebirth. Feign Death. Sup there, opponent. A grief enters the exile zone. They're going to scam me here. They're going to scam me. I guess it's like... Oh, they're not going to scam me. Okay, I should take my Ragavan. Sure. 
Right now I'm playing at the SCG. Not a clue. It's my first time playing modern in like two months. So we draw a lightning bolt. Now I could just draw off to fairy if I want to, but I don't think I do. I think I rather just have the option to uh bounce to the next thing they play. So I'm just like, yeah. Alright. I mean, 17, 14. They have four cards to my one, but I have an extra land and a planeswalker on six. Plain Stone Blade, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Alright, so obviously we can bounce Fable Token, which is pretty good. Um, this is match number four, yep. Alright, so untap. And uh, Islands. Spell, please, of some kind. Just some variety of spell. That that is a spell, technically, sure. Uh let's consider. That's a spell also. Let's go. Alright. Stone Forge Mystic. This is gonna get what? Now do I wanna get a castable here? If I get Calder and they kill a Stone Forge, it kinda sucks. If I get Batter Skull, that's pretty good. Let's get the Batter Skull. Kick it old school. Kick it old school. Can I kick it? And uh, I'll say go. I feel like Ragavan would still be modern playable if you only got a treasure when it hits. I agree. I agree. That's like a, a big hallmark of like magic design in the last like five plus years. It should just like put extra abilities on cards that are already good. You know, like uh I can you find a good example, but iteration, sure. It's just a lot of cards that are like would already be good, and then they have this extra line of text on them too. I like to call it the Billy Mays effect. As a 1-1, one, one, Ragavan is actually an interesting design. Because now it's not, like, there on rate 2. Alright, so I'm going to use my, uh, my Batter Skull. That sucks, but whatever. I can always bounce my Stone Fortress play it again, too. Uh, that's kind of cool. Three cards left. Um, Billy Mays here. Yeah, like, I don't really need... Uh, Teferi in play in this matchup, so... Just act for one, bounce it, research. Get it, research. It's like I'm... It's like I'm lur it's in for one. I mean... Uh, if they have a, a, a kill, so they could kill it response, I guess. That would be devastating, actually. Hold on. So if I go, because right now they can't play instance, but if I if I sack the Teferi and they bolt some response, it's devastating. That was a plus. Let's wait a turn. It's devastating. It's just devastating if they have it, so. If only my treasure would be, would be bad. As a 2-1? Like, a 2-1 for 1 is, like, fine. You know, like, that's, like, that's where you want to be on rate. You know? And then a red Birds of Paradise is also very good, so... All right, 13 to 14. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! We are the Borg. All right, Flip Saga. Sega. Get Bolt Reflection here, obviously, if we need to. And then we're going to play a Seasoned Pyromancer. That's annoying, but sure. That is true. The fairy turns off fiend death effects too. Discarding Croxa. See. All right. Um, I'm just gonna bolt this reflection because we gotta do that anyway. And untap and draw. Spell Pierce. Powerful. Powerful card. All right. Yeah, I'll just get this to fairy going, I guess. Draw Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Um, I got a counter spell in there. That's pretty good, actually. I can counter their Croxa. I guess, like, they'll just Croxa again next turn, but... What's up, Krusty? Favorite deck and or video I've played made since Worlds? I don't know. I've played a lot of Magic since Worlds. I don't, I don't know, honestly. I don't have a blue here. Hold on. Make sure I tap this better. Stone Forge. I don't know, honestly. I don't, I don't have a good answer for you. I'm sorry. Um, 
Mad Cow Storm is very fun. Uh, Sword of Fire and Ice or Cauldra Complete. I think I like Sword here. Sword's great. And then also Sword, if I snap snap counter, then uh, we have to put the Sword and just go for it. So that's pretty good. Prismatic Ending Crocs. So, I mean, like, them taking the whole turn to play it and just countering it on top of playing Sword's great. So... So they're just playing EI in the uh, in this scammy deck, the old scam scams. One black fatal push. All right, I guess sure. Attack to fairy most likely. It's a fairy. It's a fairy. Me. That's fine. I want to have a, a snap and play to the sword, so this is fine. So Studweiser Games, first time chat. I was here for Studweiser Games. Everyone say hi. Um, the next show has proven to be a format saving set to unban some cards. Yeah, I mean, like you could, for sure. Um, you have Bolt in the bin, too. You have Spell Pierce here, too, which is actually great. So, the Spell Pierce is very nice. Snap bolt. I don't think adding more combo cards to the format's gonna make modern a better format, you know? Uh, but I don't know. You know, modern is sort of like is what it is now. There's just like, you know, twenty or thirty modern horizons cards that are all like very format defining and like you can't ban all of them, obviously. You know, and adding combo cards to the format isn't necessarily a good solution also. So, like, I don't really know what the solution is, you know. Just modern is what it is. All right, we're good to go here. Untap. Fire up a sword. Ooh. So, you could EI and risk not hitting a land. Uh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for it. All right, so counterspell ending. That's great, actually. So, let's put the ending in our hand. Ship counterspell. Take the tarn. And play Tarn and get our sword going. Sword draws a card too, so I have ending for Croxa. Sword of freaking fire. Look at this. What year is it? Sword of fire and ice on a Snapcaster Mage. Hell yeah. Kill this. Draw a card. Draw a counter spell. Sure. Why Snow Covered Islands are not planes? I just copied the list off the internet. I don't know. This was 5 out of league. So we should also be 3 0 right now, too. I, I just stone punted our last match. So. Alright. In for 2. Down to 9. We got 9 9. And they Croxa. We discard Counterspell, ending it, attack, and deal 6. How do you do, fellow kids? Sword of Fire and Ice on Snapcaster Mage. Here's Croxa. Ugly Croxa. Discard Counterspell. Alright. No, this is not a cube draft. No. I know. It looks like cube. It's not a, another Snapcaster Mage. Oh my god. We're doing it. Let's attack. Kill this. Draw consider. All right, so we're gonna uh, we have snap, counterspell, and ending here. I think we're like com almost completely locked up. Let's guess consider. Uh, try on bottom, ragavan two. Woo! Prismatic ending, and snap, counterspell. Your turn. <laughs> oh leggings. I just don't like all different arts, all right? Just want to look at a card and know what it is immediately. There we go. Woo! After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. All right. Um, what do we want against this deck, honestly? Like, I could see subtlety against them because, like, it's important to hit their, uh, their fury or their thing. 
Was there an argument to, to, to so, Sophie burn the face because he drew a bolt? I mean, I think just, like, killing her stuff's fine. You know? Um... What are we cutting here? Teferi is, you know, it's just okay. Uh, counter spell snap. Spell pierce is pretty sketchy, honestly. Like, rest in peace doesn't really do that much against them. They just have, like, the one Croxa and, like, not that much else. I guess rest in peace stops, uh... What of the feign death effects does Rest in Peace stop? Does it stop all of them? Dress Down is amazing against them? Is it? Like. Let's be hitting EI and Drown now. Because they, they you understand, folks, that they're like a Thoughtseize Grief deck. So, like, we're going to be on a low resource game. We don't want to just be drawing random conditional cards if we can avoid it. So. Stops all of them. Yeah, I mean, like, is that good, though? I don't know. Stops Croxa and the Feign Death effects. Makes Pyromancer a little worse. Uh, Snapcaster EI, Consider, Teferi, Bolt Ending. I kind of want Subtlety. I guess Hollow of Moonlight also stops uh, the Scamsies, right? That's true, yeah. And then Recipes also makes our Snapcast short, which is really bad, so. Um, Jace Explosive Dispute Aether Gust. Hollowed Moonlight. Yeah. I don't want to change much, honestly. I don't think I want that much. This is fine. Let's try this. Alright. Scamming. I'm a scam artist. Moonlight's pretty narrow, I agree. Honestly, Moonlight's very similar to Dress Down. It's like a little worse, a little better. Actually, if... Uh, how does that work? Judge, um, if you... If they play a fury, so they pitch cast a fury, and they feign, and they and you play dress down, and then they feign death it. I say that the fury wouldn't die then, because so. If. Yeah, because it wouldn't die. I'm just, I'm 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 just trying to ask like. If you dress down and they feign death after dress down, it'll still have the death ability, right? Yeah, because Fury wouldn't die because dress down, but like if it, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't freaking matter. All right, well, Small gives no lander. Uh, ugh. just the old, just the old Sacred Foundry Plains counterspell hand. Somebody's playing a No biggie. We're gonna me. keep this. Shift the counterspell. Obviously, we have Ragavan at the Stone Forge, which is fine. Watery Grave. They have the turn one nuts. No, I just have thought these. Sure. Right. Dress down with the trigger of a stack. Or like, I don't know. Whatever. It's, that sounds confusing. Take the rag of air. I'm good. I'm good. Skull Down's a good drop. Go find a Triome. Get our mana working. We got good card advantage in all three of our cards, which is nice. at 16 already 14 already hammer reset up thanks so much croxa 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 is lame all right uh let's try them um, we're gonna discard to fairy here i think it's a fairy is like it's fine but it's not a stone forge or iteration i want these lands too so discard to fairy and then we're gonna Sacred Foundry. I want to be able to cast EI next turn without playing a land, so play Stoneforge Mystic. 
And this stone forge is going to get what? I think we're gonna get the cauldra, honestly. I have a second stone forge and it forces them to kill this next turn, which they might not want to do. I guess we're like a little soft with card fury, right? We don't really have a way to kill a fury that's a 4-4. Four -four. They feign death it or whatever it is, whatever the there's like nine different feign death effects. They all do different things, like slightly. What do you got, friend? Good old Stone Ward Mystic. Hope I end up playing against some Jeskai creativity. We played against five car creativity earlier. I punted. Sure one. Should be three R right now. Decided to kill Mystic. That's a persist. That's okay though. I forgive myself. Bloodstain Mire. So, they don't have to kill Stoneforge this turn, but, like, they probably want to. Okay, they're going to fetch a Steam Vents tapped. Sure. And cast an End Step Dress Down. Sure. That's fine, I guess, so... Obviously, I can't activate Stoneforge right now. I think we just say go and put in Calder on their turn. Like, yeah. Next turn, we can EI and Stone. Yeah, just like put the threat in play. They're at 13 already, so just land go. So, Dress Down dies on my end step, and then I still have a Calder to put in, which is great. It is Calder, right? You're saying it wrong. Calder? Caldra wins the match. Listen, I'll take it. On the play for game number four. And our hand is terrible. Gigantha. Mulligan the Five Lander. And I mean, this is also a Five Lander, but I got some pretty good ones here, so we're going to keep this. I think we ship uh, the Nexus. Both on six cards and they're playing Gigantha. Um, Alright. Just uh, fire in the old Haywire Might. Hasn't done much yet. Last deck of a day. I have two more decks I'm planning on playing, but it's taking kind of a long time, so we'll see. Monastery freaking Swift Spear. Alright. So, Prowess most likely. Haywire Might is going to block and gain two at some point. There's a Hammer. I mean, Hammer's good. Players of Saga. Sega. And then play Reality Chip. And... I mean, I don't think I'm blocking this turn. I'm attack for one. Like... Our hand's... Pretty bad. We've drawn like two of the filler tutor targets, four lands. Oh no, double swifty. That's really bad. Chips blocking, so get in there, buddy. I'll put an 0 4 in my deck to not block with it, so eat a bolt. Start making saga tokens, I guess. Crack the foothills for steam vents. I mean, like, just sagging for a Shadow Spear is pretty good, honestly. Play the planes we just drew. Play a land. Just say go. Wall of Omens achieved. Yep. Every, all, all every O4 can do is aspire to be Wall of Omens, basically. So, here's the iteration. Um... We're going to Saga for Shadow Spear, for sure. And then we get to make another token and play Hammer, so... Iteration reveals... Another iteration, a brick? And now I can block, too? Yellow Hat! What's up, Gabe? 
How's it going, folks? I'm playing Modern today. I'm playing Magic Online. Look at me. We're playing Hammer Time. We're 3-0. Uh, we played Jeskai's Stoneblade to start. Went 4-1, but I punted the loss. So we, we, we would have won for sure. So I should have 5-0'd. But... And now we're playing against some Prowess. We're 3-0. And looking to maybe block here. We lose both creatures. We get to kill their creature. Or I can just like... I can just chomp. I can just stay alive here. We are going to Shadow Spear next turn, I guess. Although, I kind of want to make another blocker. I could just chump also. Um, we could like get Shadow Spear, make a token, play another Saga, play the Hammer, and now I have two three threes. I went to a went to eleven seems fine actually. That's fine. Just take it. Them missing a land here is absolutely huge for us. So untap, we draw. If we double block, we lose both creatures because the this, the this, this will shrink. When this, so they, just, they, sign, they sign one here and one here. I don't want to lose both. Draw another hammer. All right, sure. Make construct. And now my stuff's just freaking huge. So here's Shadow Spear. Here's Saga. Here's a, a hammer. Just grows the construct. And now we just like attack like this. Um, and just like block instead of Shadow Spear next turn. Probably said we're gonna chump block too. Probably so. Stay for five. Earth Saga is pretty good. It's a pretty solid card. More tokens on the way. Eleven's pretty safe, I think. I they're missing a land drop last turn. So they have five spells in their hand, or at least four spells in their hand, but like they can't deploy them fast enough, probably. Famous last words. Watch me die in a blaze of glory here. Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar is pretty good at like shrinking my constructs. It makes the equip on the Shadow Spear not as appealing, but. Are they gonna attack? Ooh, they are gonna attack. Okay. Um. I think we just block here because they gotta do something to stop the construct. And say they bolt the construct becomes a 2-2. Two, two. Now they win the combat, but I go to 13, and I have more time to make more constructs. Um, and I want them to use bolt here, so I can consider equipping next turn. Also, it's fine. I'm going to do this. Could have maybe, like, maybe let the not block with the might. Um, keep this a little bigger, but this looks pretty good to me. And we'll decide if we're going to make another token or, or just, like, uh, equip the Shadow Spear. Double block to kill through a bolt. Um, yeah, I guess. But Or they can just do nothing. Ha ha ha! Gain two. Yeah, Lavadar is also kind of an issue, too. Let's just say go. Wow. So, untap. And now we're at 13. There's no rush to equip Shadow Spear. We draw Pure Steel Paladin too. All right, I guess we're gonna do that then. So, Saga goes up, and we are going to we play Pure Steel and then move to equip the Hammer immediately because I can manually equip it for the Shadow Spear. So let's do that. Pure Steel Paladin. Before they have priority to kill it, we're going to equip the hammer. Maybe we'll have that card. Uh, our prowess opponent earlier was playing that Modern Horizons card where it's like sack a mountain, deal five to a creature. It's kind of gas, actually. That'd be insane here. So they have to kill the paladin, or we're going to play like five more hammers or whatever. Mine Collapse. That's the one. That's the card. We have technology. What do you got here, friend? Huh? Gentlemen. Look at this. Behold. Look at my freaking hammer. It's big. Huge. Ginormous. Oh my god, Becky. Unholy heat targeting the paladin. Great. Best feeling deck so far. I mean, we've been winning with both decks, but both decks felt they could do a little more, you know. Alright, so we just do that. And then we just do this. 
And we say, sorry, friend. Thanks for playing, though. I enjoyed playing this game with you. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I wasn't done yet. Game. All right, so that the missing the land on the iteration was, like, huge. But, like, we have so many pro red creatures, it's, like, actually insane. So we bring in our Sanctifiers, um, our Marches, probably. Cut, like, the Reality Chip. Cut these freaking terrible Haywire Mites. Uh... Like, Sword of Fire and Ice, like, isn't particularly great against them, honestly. Neither is Cauldra. Let's look at the Cauldra. I think it just, like, kill the, uh, the Stoneforge really easily. I might get the Sword, too. Like. The Thopters aren't the most exciting. Honestly, Blacksmith, Blacksmith Skill is pretty good here, too. I don't mind that. Just like this, this. This has over our worked. Uh, it did, but we lost that game because they uh, they put in two Archons and a Sarah Emissary. So I couldn't even copy their Archon. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm pretty cool with this, I think. These Thopters have been pretty bad. Without four Spring Leaf drops, Thopters just like not good. You know? Trim a Stoneforge? Uh, no. <laughs> We're we're hammering and shadow spearing. That's our that's our goal. This is fine. One of the options are pretty bad, but whatever. Gigant of the Wellspring. All right, so we got a not a great hand, honestly, but turn one Sentinel, turn two March is pretty good. Isn't the block and life gain on might decent? It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 that gains 2 when it dies. That is not a modern power level card. Uh, even against the red deck. Mem not better than Thopter if it trades a Ragavan. Uh, it's terrible against Ren, though. That's the issue. Is that, like, there's almost, like, a a, a soft ban on one type of creatures because of Ren. So, all right. So, I play one drop here. It's 50. We go Sentinel. Shock Sentinel's not ideal, but... Ooh, prowess too. Nice. Must be nice. Must be nice. Look at this. Goblin guide. Eat your heart out. Everyone stand up, folks. Stretch. Oh. I got basketball tonight. I gotta loosen up a little bit. Draw card. Heath. Just getting the planes. So we're at 17 already. Get a planes. Play Sentinel. Hopefully we'll draw at least one card off of it. And you get to go Saga March and start Sagaing. No blocks. No blocks. Hopefully no second creature here. Probably like a light up stage or something like that. Light up the stinky stage. What? No land again? <laughs> Come on, Paul. You're making it too easy. All right. Here's Saga. And uh, I'm not going to block. She says, I guess. This is pretty good. Even though our hand like is pretty bad, like just like march this turn and start activating Saga is pretty awesome. So, And then with the Sentinel and Blade, they're missing a land drop. We're going to draw a lot of cards off this. All right, never mind. There's Lava Dart. Sure, Lava Dart's fine. So that's fine. Sentinel draws. Ooh. And they dart. Dart, 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 dart. There's your land. They found it. They found it. Any pre-combat actions? No? All right. Well, we're marching to the tune of our own drum. How'd they have actually done? Bolt me. I accept. Anything else? No? All right. Uh, march. And end step. Cool. Untap. Aridbus. Sure. So. I mean, they can, like, lava dart the, uh, the construct if they want to, but whatever. We're 13, 13 and they have nothing in play, so I'm pretty happy. Yo, bro. Heard you like Lance. Ooh. Third path iconoclast. But no, but no spell either. Okay. 
Get a planes, make a car instruct. They could dart here if they want to. Untap and draw. Steel Shaper's Gift. All right, make a car instruct. No dart. And we're going to go get... It's funny that we're going to get a, a drum when we're kind of flooded, but... Like, we just, we want an artifact in play. We kind of want a mana source, too, so it just, like, does both those things. Um, yeah. Get a drum. We're going to play... I guess play Nexus Hammer. Do we want to hold Hammer for Cigar Disease? We do have this, the gift in our hand, too. Just putting artifacts in play is pretty appealing. So, here's a Hammer... I don't think I want to cast Shadow Spear without using it because they uh, if they have like a Shatter effect in their hand. I want to get at least one hit off of it. So, um, so we're going to hold this. And do I want to cast the Steel Shaper's Gift? Not really. <laughs> I'm just going to leave us back on defense. Let's attack for four. Attack for four and just say go. Like, they have three spells in their hand. We're at 12. And they don't know about Shadow Spear, which is important. This might also entice them to use, like, an Abrade or something like that on my Car Instruct. So we keep the uh, Shadow Spear. You already have the one we want, you know? Like, so this 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 gift is kind of, like, you know... It's funny, because, like, if we had sort of Fire and Ice still in our deck, I think I boarded it out, right? I would get Sword here. But it's, like, pretty slow in most scenarios. But when, like, we're horribly flooded, it's good, you know? So when it's hard, we're horribly flooded and already have Shadow Spear and don't have a use for Hammer yet. In that, you know, niche scenario, then yes, then getting a sword would be good, but. Shattering Spree got called out in chat, and uh, there it is. So they get to shatter both constructs, which is pretty good, actually. Um, Alright, that's good. So we saved our Shadow Spear, but now we have nothing, nothing to really put it on, but we'll figure it out. We draw Sigarda's Aid. We can't kill them. So, double shatters. Make a token, attack for two. Alright. I mean, you can draw a spell. That's a spell. Um, Bingo. Right. We go get... I don't even know. Like, we're almost, like, out of equipments. Like, you know, we've drawn only skill shapers, gifts, and, and uh, equipment so far. So, let's get, uh... Just a hammer, right? That's all we have. So get a hammer. And... We can go land, shadow spear, equip on Stoneforge. But then again, that has the same problem of like... It, it, this will be tapped anyway. And then they can just... Uh, this is exposed to uh, to things. I think we just cast Gift and play Hall of Fountain Tapped. Um, just like try and... Increase our chances of drawing Cigar as aid or Pierce the Paladin. No Batter Skull? No, I'm not playing Batter Skull. Okay, we have Sword of Fire and Ice, but I boarded it out because, like, it didn't, doesn't seem very good here, but contextually in this game it would have been. Metal Cyst is, like, pretty sketch, honestly. Um, Alright, and then we're just going to say go. So we're all, uh, all dressed up here with nowhere to go. We, uh, Stoneforge can block the Soldier token if they want to lava dart when they're stuck on land. That's totally fine. Uh, they bolt Stoneforge, whatever, also. Um, these PJs are comfy. Nicole got me some nice PJs for Christmas. They're, like, super comfy. Unholy Heat. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. It's fine. They get in for three. They still have three cards in their hand. Uh, would prefer no light up a stage here. They're dead too. Cigar is aid, pure steel paladin, uh Saga's I mean, it's not a bad draw, but we might just die next turn, you know, like We could So like we could try and block with Nexus. We could also like play Saga, play Spear, equip the Spear to Nexus and get him for two life gain. They have Lava Dart, though, so... And, like, mana up, too. 
I think I just try and block with Nexus. Let's play Saga. I think we want to just like cash out a spear now though and like defend just like just like spend the mana now, so this is not ideal. Uh but We probably just die here, honestly, but whatever. What are we gonna do? They would probably kill Nexus with Dart, yeah. They get a token, they lose a land. Uh if I try and block, they can do the same thing, I guess. But we're just like dead. So <laughs> They actually have all spells in their hand because they're mana screwed, so I don't know what else to do. Um, so Spear, yeah, it works like that either way. So now it's two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So I have to try and block or I die. I don't know how I can win anyway because they're, they're going to dart here for sure. All right, yeah, I mean, tough game, honestly. We just kind of just didn't do anything. Um, kind of a stinker. Screw beats Flood. They had, heat and, they had Heat and Lava Darts, sure, that's fun. All right, so game three. We also have, like, a freaking army of pro red creatures we just never drew, which is kind of cool, so. Amy, what's up? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Amy's great. Go follow him if you don't follow Amy. What's up, folks? My name is Jim. How's it going? It's the first time you hit that follow button. I'm playing some Modern today. I'm prepping for uh, SCG Con in Philadelphia this weekend. I haven't played Modern in like a few months, so we're just playing some Modern. We're 3-0 with a uh, Hammer Time deck, and uh, usually I play a lot of Arena, too. If you're into the Arena content, you can follow me on a, <clears throat> on a thing. Butts.jpg. Love it. Welcome. First time chatter. What's well, here for Butts.jpg? Huh? All right, so we are on the play. We have Turn 1 Esper Sentinel. We also have Giver of Runes, a March, a Skill, and Sanctifier. We're going to keep this. We're going to draw land. Good to go. That sweet raid. As the baby? Baby's doing good. Who wants to see a cute picture of baby for the raid? Raise your hand in chat. Who wants to see a cute picture of baby? All my raiders out there. Best game ever. All right, here we go. Here we go. Those that don't know, I had a, uh, I had a kid... About three months ago now. And there he is. Aww. He's starting to smile and stuff now. He's having a great time. I've seen the one spoilers. Uh, do not discuss leaks in, in here. Um, spoilers are fine, but I haven't looked too, uh, I haven't looked too closely at them. So Modern different than Explorer? Uh, very different. Yeah, Modern is a huge format. So that's the last like 15 or 20 years of sets. Explorers only have the last like, I don't know, eight or something. So Channeler... All right, we need a land here, folks. We need that. We have big land, big land, huge land. Oh, All right, set. Now oh we're in. Uh, thanks, folks. Playing hammer in Philly. I have no idea what I'm playing yet. I'm trying out different decks today. Uh, so we get sanctifier here, and then just like, let's do our thing, right? Say go. Channeler is probably not going to be uh, delirious thanks to the Sanctifier. This blocks everything. A lot of pro-red stuff. We have three Sanctifiers and two main deck Burrington four Shenders. 20 years of sets and only Modern Horizons cards matter. <laughs> waka, waka. I mean, you might not be wrong, you know? Modern Horizons block constructed. Just, you know? Throw a companion or two in there, but sure. Of all the cards here, we have Modern Horizons, Modern Horizons, I'm sorry, Modern Horizons, Modern Horizons, Modern Horizons, Modern Horizons Reprint, Modern Horizons, Modern Horizons, and a Companion. So, you know. Lava Dart, gonna draw a card here? There's also, there's also Exiles of Lava Dart, too, which is great. Stoneforge is the draw. Gonna let me draw a card. God, drawing cards is something else. Whew, drawing cards. Woo! Let me tell you about drawing cards, folks. Exile that Lava Dart. And, uh... Alright, we're four now. Card, what are you doing? Hi. Say hi to everyone. Don't bite me. You little bastard. Get out of here. Card's a bad dog. Alright, anyway. Uh, hands great. Keep. Keep, keep, keep. Put a mug at six. Card's cute. Stop barking. Yeah, I mean... 
The car starts barking though. He, he just he just can't stop. He just loves barking. What is this? Oh no. Oh no. Fellow Chucker, eh? Alright, so our ant's pretty creaturey at least. Our own sentinel. Uh we're gonna play our own sentinel here, because they are probably not playing much removal, so give her runes kinda whatever. That way if they have their own equipment to play, we can try to draw some cards. Car and baby playing together? No, we keep Karn is Karn is not allowed to go near baby. We have a you know, no, no, no car near baby. Car car knows. And car knows too. Car like will like jump on the couch, see baby, and be like, oops, sorry. So he's been better. They play drum. I miss the drums, honestly. I, I, the old like hammer time decks were like four drums, you know, four Thopter, three Mem Knight or whatever. Kinda missed that build. Honestly. Alright, and uh let's see here. It's doubtful they have much removal, honestly. Probably just pure steel here and just get our get our stuff going. Yeah, like Stocks is like their hand. They're just on the play with like a better hand than us. So like I don't know really what we're gonna do here, but you could easily just die at any point. But pure steel and just spear plus hammer is pretty good. Alright. Uh maybe I actually offer the sentinel trade. I should have done this first, but no, I only have two artifacts. So it's, my, it's, my, it's my third artifact for Metal Crab, which is like a... Do I ever do viewer deck reviews? Uh, I do, actually. Uh, $10 for a deck tech. Uh, you give me donate $10, and I'll do a five-minute deck tech on your deck live on stream. That info is... Uh, it's probably actually in the your deck live thing, which is... Yeah, there you go. I gotta make... I gotta read my stuff, but... Hammer folds. Anything that plays green. That's, that's a, a bit... Uh, of a wide net to say. I think it's a bit of a general statement. Alright, so unzap, and we draw a springleaf drum of our own. Our one springleaf drum. They have Urza Sega up. Um, Sega. We just have hammer and spear, which is just gas. So, um, we're going to pay our tax here and just cast hammer and shadow spear, I think, right? Like, play drum, pay with tax. Play hammer, play spear attack. Like, seems pretty good to me. I don't usually have much main deck interaction, so. Play drum. Just like. I want to play this Giver of Runes also. We could have maybe, like, played Giver of Runes also and, like, maybe give them a card, but, like, play Giver for next turn. But. I don't know. Force of Vigor and Besage, you beat it? I mean. Stage is okay. Force of Vigor is pretty good, but like you can play around it for sure. So they're gonna make a token. I will allow them to block if they want to. Alright, so uh everybody stop. Wait, wait. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. That's it. I'm going to clone college. I I was thinking cigar is aid. I just screwed up. Like, yeah, I just, just, I'm just an idiot. All right, that's fine. Um, sure. No worries. I should, have, I should have stopped for lunch. I should have stopped for lunch. Whatever you're like, I'll just keep going. You never keep going. That's the rule. That's always the rule. All right, so that's going to cost us the game probably. Uh, we'll see what we can do, but let's, um, that was our, that was our third artifact as well. I guess we have two other artifacts too. I can, um, Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, but it's kill us next turn with Nexus. Alright, let's uh play hammer and draw. You can't skip lunch. You can't do it, folks. You just can't do it, you know? Just uh just is what it is. Shame concede? Nah, we'll be fine. Play bad win anyway. That's how that's how we do things here. Ornithopter is a sick draw. <laughs> Completely Bingo. undeserving of this draw. Uh and now I get to play a giver of runes and have a blocker so they can't kill me with nexus it's pretty good pretty good we have the eclipse keys now too put this bad boy on here and just say go pretty lucky pretty lucky so they're gonna uh float a mana and pump this up sure i mean they have their own pure steel. I just block, and they're at 20. Now we can't block. Oh, right. Well, they, they had FF Cigar Disease. Like, 
It needs to be an instant speed equip or they should block it. Because it's in a loose flying anyway. So. How are goblins in modern? I play goblins every Monday. Um, probably haven't played modern a little bit, but it's 11. That sucks. I'll give it flying. All right. I, I, whatever. All right. Just, I should have lunch. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Sure. They, they re give it flying, which makes sense. Sure. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's sideboard. Vintage goblins. That's on there somewhere. Modern Monday's played almost every format, every format possible at this point. So, all right, let's bring in our uh, our marches. Let's bring in explosives. Is like super awkward. Obviously, I think we're on the play. We just want to like just kind of go. Um, Haywire might's actually good here for once. That's nice. Commander, yep, commander's on there too. Uh, so just got the four genders, I guess. It's fair. Blacksmith skill is like a little bit interesting. Um. I don't really want explosives on the draw. Marvel Snap goblins? That'd be fun. I do like Marvel Snap. Um, the chip's pretty, pretty... The chip's like, okay, I guess. It's fine. Let's do this. All right. Uh, on the play. And our hand is... It's close. But uh, needs an ornithopter. Oh, we got Mulligan. Rage Shadow Legends goblins? We actually did uh, that, that the Magic Legends game. That like you got shit canned. Um, Still a piece like the of Magic garbage. Diablo long. We actually played that for Mod Monday one week, uh, but I couldn't get any goblins in the game. Is like the starter deck wasn't goblins or whatever. So do I not like the Gretla, the Green Splasher might? We're playing two mites. Deck was on the overlay, folks. I'm gonna keep this. And we're gonna ship um, probably Ornithopter. If Giver of Ruin, Sentinel, Stoneforge, it's all pretty good. Ship the Ornithopter. Just turn one sentinel. And I'm going to fetch the green. Let's see where our two mites. So, yep. Yeah. Food chain legacy goblins? I think so. Mog Monday is like 180 episodes deep, you know. It's probably on there. Yeah, the, the, the Legends game, like the Magic Legends, like Diablo clone game, like, actually had some really good mechanical ideas uh but the execution was very very poor um they released it way too early um like the system of the game was pretty sweet it was basically like diablo but instead of like ch like choosing your spells to hotkeys you build a deck of like 12 spells and your four spell keys would be a random spell from your deck and if you cast it it would get replaced with a new random spell it's pretty clever, honestly. It was a cool, it was a cool design, but um, the execution was like the idea was cool, but the execution was not very well done. So, have I seen a trailer for the D and D movie? No, I don't watch trailers. I don't like D and D. So, no worries, Naughty. All right, so we have Cigar Eight Hammer, which is great. Um. Giver of Ruins, Pure Steel Paladin. Hand's pretty good. Opponents of the Tank. Remake Shanlar, get the money in an instant. Here's Pure Steel Paladin. Alright. I mean... Untap and draw our own pure steel power. I mean, just like go for hammer here, I guess. I mean, Giver can't protect the hammer from like a exile effect. Uh, and we can't, if we, if we get, if I can like play a paladin here, I might just play paladin and play hammer next turn. But I'm just gonna cigar his aid and do the thing, I guess. They can draw one. Attack with the Esper Sentinel. Pretty face up hammer here, you know? Cast hammer. Alright. I mean, now we are guaranteed to draw a card to play a spell. And they're at nine, so. There's their their Urza Saga. It's pretty good. It's their land three, too. Play another Sentinel. And play their own cigar as aid. We draw. We draw Mesa. I 
and they play a pithing needle naming nexus or hammer is the question do i see a japanese tournament goblin deck list uh, i don't think so what's it gonna be They're going to name Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Sure. I guess. It's a little, a little odd, right? Send a link. Yeah, it's fun. Um, all right. Yeah. We, I mean, we can't, we can like do the whole reactivate Nexus trick. We can't do that yet. So... This goblin deck looks this is pretty standard. Oh, it's, oh, it's like frog tosser banner it. Blech. Still a piece of Heart garbage. Sucks. Grist in the board. It's kind of cute. All right. Um, we just jam here and play paladin. And try and set up for for nexus next turn. Hopefully they block the thopter with the block the thopter. So yeah, very very strange name because like, I mean, I what am I? I, what, you know, I need to activate this card, right? Like, I have freaking Cigars Aid in play, so. Alright, so I like the block here. It's a smart block by them. Keep it a flyer in play. And then we'll just play, uh... Giver of Ruins gives protection from a color or colorless. I guess we could use Giver to, uh... To give the Nexus Pro colorless. No, because then, then the, uh, then the, uh... Then the equipment would fall off. That's pretty funny. Alright, so... Yeah... We just, uh, let's play Land Paladin just say go, I guess. Alright. Uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, they're in the Abyss, so. They do have a, uh, a hammer of their own next turn, but we can't really do much about it. Definitely would rather have uh, Saga and have them have Nexus, but they have a Canyon and two cards in hand. Untap and draw. Second Hammer. Or Ornithopter, that works too. Uh, in for 11, we just play out our hand and kind of go from there. Yeah. Putting the hammer on the nexus and forcing the ornithopter to block so you could like maybe get them in the air next turn is kind of interesting uh but then i can't deploy all my stuff so i think i'll try to play out my castle like crap here let's just play another paladin and play a giver of runes play ornithopter and we can move the hammer now but then this would die so we can't do that so just like up And step, make a token. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Untap. Make a token. Get a hammer. Put it on something else. They also could get a, uh, a shadow spear here, in theory. Make a token. Probably just like Shadow Spear or Hammer, I would guess. You can activate the Nexus again to, to get flying. So if you put the Hammer on Nexus, it loses flying. But if you activate Nexus again, it regains the flying, which is kind of cute. But they have a Thopter in play. And then Giver of Runes giving Nexus pro colorless would lose the Hammer. So they go for their own Hammer. They get to put on something and draw a card. They're going to put it onto... The Paladin, all right. So they have a twelve, twelve Paladin, which is larger than my uh, my my Sentinel. It's a fancy planes. They have three cards in hand still. We can pro white the Sentinel, I guess. No, they're coming in. 
They're they're not they're not joking around. All right, just jump block this. Take five. All right, big draw. Not that big. <laughs> Somebody's playing a prank on me. Sure specified. Um, I guess they're a genius for naming Stoneforge, right? Um, all right. I mean, we just act with our Sentinel and just play defense with our Reverb Runes. And they're playing Red for It's probably just a, a, a sack land. It's just like they would play it if it was, you know, whatever. It's just white. Attack for 11. The Abyss once again. Uh oh. So they're gonna exile Sigarda's aid. X equals two. Trying to exile the hammer. And they exiled a Sigarda's aid. Let us draw off of that. That's pretty bad for us, honestly. This protects only creatures. Uh yeah, we're we're in some doo doo now. We're actually pretty screwed. Um, we just like can't do anything. <laughs> like, yeah, that falls off. And now they block with the Construct, and if I want to keep it alive, I have to use Tap My Giver. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, Urza Saga is a lot better than Nexus is. Uh, they drew Saga, we drew Nexus this game, and that is really kind of the uh, the tail of the tape. Drawing all our, our Calder, also not very good. We're just pretty dead here. I mean, I guess we could just, like, draw any equipment, just draw two cards immediately and put it on something, but we, um, we're at nine... Gonna be a wear tear, sure it's possible, but see we've seen zero fetches this match so far. I think it's more likely they're just playing mono white. Crack the canopy. Play ornithopter. I mean, I only have one card left, but their board is pretty good. And here comes the Ornithopter. All right. Well, they're saying they drew a hammer. Um, I honestly just can't beat anything here. So I think we just fire in for some blocks and probably die. I'm not blocking the Ornithopter. If we die, we die. So we'll put like, I don't know, this here. And this here. Yeah, I mean, if they, have, if they have Hammer, we're dead. Whatever. We're dead to almost anything here. Whatever. I can't block everything and maintain a, a, a board presence, so, yeah, sure. All right, that's fine. I'll say I played it horribly in game one, but whatever. So, all we lost to the mirror, uh, we went 4-1. and one. Uh, The deck list itself doesn't feel very good, honestly. Um, Haywire might, I'm not convinced, is a 2 of in the main deck, that's for sure. Uh, never used the Reality Chip. Kind of missed uh, having some actual blue cards uh, to ferry or spell period, stuff like that, too. The main deck board tenders were kind of cool. The sideboard was okay. Uh, but Hammer Time is definitely a good deck. Uh, but the list overall is just, like, okay. It's, like, not great. So um, that's this deck. So uh, we're going to keep playing on stream. But YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great.